when I was a young lad, hmm. 13 years old, I would stare at pictures. of If I saw a picture of myself, it would ruin my whole fucking day. Yeah. I would stare at myself in the mirror and just be like, I fucking hate you are so ugly. And I, it was because so unhealthy that I said, you know what? Every time I look at myself in the mirror, in a picture, I get so depressed and anxious, I'm going to stop. Mm -hmm. For a whole year, I didn't look at mirrors. I didn't look at pictures of myself. I didn't care. And I feel like somehow through this, this like, uh, uh, I don't know, a j pilgrimage, I j I all, now I don't care. I don't care how fat, how ugly, how disgusting I look on camera or pictures. I'm just like, yeah, I'm a fucking monster. Like, I've accepted it. I'm just like, yeah, I'm a monster. I know that. Yeah. Whew, that is fucking dark. Um, but I get it. But it doesn't bother um, me, right? Yeah. Oh, that's sad. Is it okay to get, like, sad? I'm not like, uh, Yeah. Uh, I, okay. For, for starters, what I'm going to say is I think... It's like, not that we like mirrors, but it is like looking at a mirror right now because I'm the mm. same way. Um, and for me, I would tell you, like, what? You're crazy. What are you talking about? You're not a monster. You're not fat. You're not ugly. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're crazy, right? And that's what my friends tell me. Mm -hmm. That's what my boyfriend tells me. That's what my therapist, everybody has told me that. Mm -hmm. But, like, it's literally like, shut up. You're lying. You're lying. You're yeah. lying. I'll never believe you. Right. So... Yeah, the last year I did the same thing. I was like, you know what? Like, I'm just not going to, like, look at any pictures, not my tagged pictures. I'm not going to, like, look mm -hmm. at literally anything. And it helps sometimes. Like, I'll have, like, a good week. And then, like, yesterday, like, it hit me again. And I was just like, I literally want to get out of my body and go somewhere else. Like, it's mm -hmm. just like, I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done. I'm over it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and so, yeah. I don't know. It feels like there's no cure. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you know, and it's just like, I don't know. It's it's crazy it, that we're all like now, that's what we do. Yeah, we literally put ourselves. And, like, I've, you, you recovered from it, but I feel like I feel the same as you're describing. And it's it's just weird that you can't like grow, like get over it. I don't know. It's so strange. You would think that I'd get over it at a certain point <coughs> when you do mm -hmm. videos every week and podcasts. Yeah. I don't know if it's as extreme, but I like I hate like uh, when Ethan is editing a video or something, and I have to watch it. Mm. I just I almost just don't even want to look. <laughs> she makes me cut a lot. <laughs> or like when your voice is heard, or when you're. But and I know that everyone listening would be like, "What? What is wrong with you? You're crazy. Yeah. You're being crazy." Yeah. I you know what used to always piss me off? <laughs> I would be looking at a picture of myself, and I'd be like, "This is the worst picture of me ever." And then my mom would walk up, and she'd be like, "What are you talking about? That's just how you look like." <laughs> and I'm like, "You don't understand. That's not what you. That's not make me feel better. <laughs> that's the opposite thing. I want you to tell me that's a bad picture of me." <laughs> Mine got really like I've been the most triggered since. Maybe four years ago, I hadn't worn shorts in, I don't know, 15 years or something. And I was on the beach with my girlfriend at the time. And I was like, I'm just going to wear shorts. I'm gonna, mm -hmm. Fuck it. I'm just going to do it. I'm happy right now. I'm just mm -hmm. going to do it. Mm -hmm. And I think I was even 20 pounds lighter than I am now. And I was walking around with shorts on. And a girl took a picture with me. And she was a nice kid. And then she posted on Instagram with hashtag fatter in person. And what? like, what the fat? Fuck? I know. But Dude, that's one of those that? things where it's like, no matter how much my girlfriend at the time was like, you don't look fat. You don't look fat. I'm like. This girl That's confirmed so... it. Oh. Like you can't back down. That's from the that. conspiracy that she proved it. <laughs> she proved it. Yeah. Hey guys, she knows she proved it. Like I was like, there's Fatter nothing you person, can say. What is wrong with you? you know? Especially someone who's a fan of yours. <laughs> and then I look back at that picture and I'm like, oh, I wish I was that fat. Like oh, God damn, that was twenty pounds ago. Yeah. Oh my God. But it is... is sad though too because like all the people watching and and stuff and people that watch us like, <laughs> they like look at us not like role model that's the wrong word but they look at us like oh i wish i, I want to do that like i like these people whatever and we're all sitting here like <laughs> i wish i could be a better like you know like it gets better <coughs> well but like it doesn't if you have issues with your looks that's one of the things that depresses me in general and having achieved some level of success that people want themselves is that you're always like why aren't i happier yeah and just like the self-awareness of mm -hmm. that fuels me feeling bad it's twisted 
It's twisted, dude. Yeah. I literally got a text when I was in the bathroom just now. I got a text from a friend, and they were just like, hey, by the way, like, um, you look really good on camera. I can tell you're nervous about it, but you look okay right now. And I was just like, <laughs> like I was like, thank you, but also like, damn, what is wrong with me? Everybody can tell. Everybody's coming in. And they were showing support. All the troops are coming. I think you look great. Oh, I think you guys look great, too. When I saw you, I thought you looked great. Yeah. It's Genuinely. the first time we met yeah. in person. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah. How no. long have you guys been together? Ooh, over 10 years. Wow. Married for five. Yeah. Found it. <laughs> that's why, like, when the whole online dating thing happened, I was like, I didn't even want to do it at first. Because mm. mm. that's the fear. Because that's a fatter in person and <laughs> they don't want to fuck you. You know what I mean? Right. They see you in person from your pictures and they're like, mm. Honestly, you know what cured me is having Hila. And she's like March Simpson, where she's like, "Don't exercise too hard, homie. I don't oh. want you to lose too much weight." <laughs> <laughs> like I think, like I'm. It's easy for me to be like, "Oh, I, hey, I don't give a shit." But if I was single, but I've been with Ela for so long that, like, you know, the even the necessity of looking good, I I should probably care more. I should probably look good for her more. But she she gives me a level of comfort that. After having been together for so long. It is mutual. It can help me gain a lot more confidence than I... Like, I was way worse before. Even more than a confidence machine? <laughs> have you seen we this have confidence, a confidence machine? machine. No, we gotta, it'll help you, dude. Wait, it's a machine. It? It's in my garage at home, but uh, it'll change your life. I'll make sure you get it right on this. It's a, it's a... You stand on it, and it just does this. It just shakes you. It just shakes you. But it's so funny that Wait, it's called no. confidence machine. <laughs> no, I've tried that. That oh, you did. Wait, you... trigger machine. That, that's <laughs> yeah, suicide no, machine. All it does is that's... jiggle your back. <laughs> yeah. And that because I lost a bunch of weight, I have like my skin is like soft and like a little loose. Mm. Not like crazy. I had surgery, so it's not that crazy. But like, yeah, if I jiggle, it's a jiggle. Confidence machine. Yeah, it's a no, misnomer for machine, sure. Yeah. My ass was like, boom, Nuts. dude. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking watch out. Cardi B or whoever's got that big ass. <laughs> what's with big asses? Why is it? that's the thing now, right? Like, uh, what's her name? Kim Kardashian. If you look at before and afters, her. Do you have a conspiracy about that? Yes. Her body's yeah. not natural. <laughs> if you look from five years ago, she's like, "Hey, I'm a normal lady who's fit." To now, she's like, "I'm a Barbie doll, and my <laughs> waist it looks like somebody strangled me with a corset for a decade." Yeah. I hope that like big legged men. Become a thing. Tree trunks, my dude. Yes. I got fucking thick legs. Yes. Tur <laughs> I I told I said yesterday to my friend. I said I'm the shape of a chocolate Easter bunny. <laughs> like literally, I've, it's perfect. Right. So like, if that can become a thing, like ooh, like like little that girls, thought. like yes, with your fat legs, daddy. Like that is everything. I would maybe look in a mirror. If we can only problem. change <laughs> all the norms of beauty in our society. Yeah. yeah. I, I, well, sorry, keep going. I was just going to say that I have more of a pear shape. I have a very pear shaped body. I don't think so. And I love you. Got to see, bro. <laughs> you're being so. Here's the thing you're being nice. I don't trust you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what were you going to say? Uh, no, I do have a conspiracy, though, about like not the fat ass thing, but um, I noticed that like. Fashion lately has been going more toward people gaining weight because yeah. we all kind of are. Mm. Um, so really? like, yeah, like when I went to a store, I never go shopping, but I went to a store to look for a new shirt, and like all the guys' shirts <laughs> were like really long and like mm. oversized. And then I saw like Bieber and all these people wearing them, and I'm like, no, this is the fashion industry. Like, here, Shane, here's a big shirt. <laughs> To hide in, to mm. eat in. Like, here's a big, comfortable shirt that we're going to call fashion. Mm -hmm. Like, and now we're all wearing these big, I mean, I'm not wearing them, but. No, I have I'm noticed that um, people like, like you were I saying, where the 6XL's yeah. at. Yeah, to cover your ass and like to cover your. <laughs> just need a, I need a burqa, honestly. Yes. I think the fashion word got uh, really criticized for like mm. not. being in support of like anorexia almost. Right. With, and that you was know, really true, tiny honestly, models. Yeah. Yeah. That maybe that's a result of that and not mm. trying to shame you, Shane. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. who knows? Yeah. But that is true. All the models were were like pretty much anorexic. They got a lot of shit for it. Yeah. It's disgusting. Why would they even want that? Does the clothes look better, honestly, if you're just like a little... It's like a human hanger. That's what yeah. they call it, yeah. That's funny. Yeah. I wish I could wear a graduation gown like all the time. 
You know? A Momo. <laughs> it, yes. <laughs> you seen that Simpsons? This is the second time I've quoted Simpsons. Mm-hmm. When Homer started wearing a Momo. Mm-hmm. I love that episode. Yeah. My grandma, when my grandma died, well, the first one died and she lived in a Momo. She lived in a chair. She was very big. She lived in a chair in a trailer. And when she died, we got all her Momos. <clears throat> um, and my mom kept them. And I theory i think she was keeping them for me because <laughs> Your grandma, oh. because five years after that i was i hit around four hundy and my mom are you serious yeah, wait what four hundy bro four hundy when um, how long ago that's almost like what boogie was weighing at oh, his really? max he was at like five hundy yeah. at his max interesting yeah uh, I held it well. I looked like I was, um, you know, like when actors go into fat suits, but like right. they don't have the gloves or the neck yet. Right. So I had like a thin neck okay. and small little thin hands and a big body. <laughs> right. Um, my legs still are about the same size. <laughs> um, Thick boys. Yeah. But that was like 10 years ago, 11 years ago. Wow. So that's unbelievable. I saw a picture of you like, I don't know if it was in high school or middle school, mm. and I, I didn't even know it was you. Yeah. How did you make the trans- that transformation? Um, I mean, I had been on, like, Weight Watchers since I was, like, five. Like, mm-hmm. my mom was always mm-hmm. trying, and I was always, like, you know, losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight. Um, and then, yeah, around 18, I was graduating high school, and I was like, no, I'm just going to do this officially. I'm done. Like, I don't have to go to school anymore. So I'll, I'll just spend all my time, like, eating right and running because I had like, You just OCD. set your mind to it. You're like, you know what? Fuck this. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm gonna not going to go to college. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm going to lose weight instead, which is what I did.